Good morning and welcome to True Worshippers Evangelistic Center Morning Devotion. We thank God for the privilege of another day on this earth to continue to fulfill the plans and purpose He has for our lives. We thank God for protecting us through the night and for waking us up to a brand new day. We thank God for providing for all our needs. We thank God that we are in the land of the living. So we will create a beautiful day for ourselves and others, despite the challenges that each day may bring. Today's devotion focuses on Psalm 11.4, um, and I'll use the NLT version, which says, But the Lord is in His holy temple. The Lord still rules from heaven. He watches everyone closely, examining every person on earth. God is watching us. If we believe that God is watching us, then shouldn't we be doing what is right and pleasing in His eyes? Today we look at a couple of verses in Proverbs 3 which reminds us of what God requires of us with promises. Verse 1 and 2 states, My son, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments with the promise of, in verse 2, for length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. Are you keeping God's commandments? Verse 3 and 4 states, Let not mercy and truth forsake thee, Bind them about thy neck, write them upon the table of thine heart, with a promise in verse 4 that says, So shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Are you being truthful? Verses 5 and 6 are familiar verses. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lean not on thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Are you continuing to do things your own way? spinning out of control when you should be depending on God? Are you leaning on God's side, your side, or man's side? Verses 9 and 10 states, Honor the Lord with thy substance and with the first fruits of all thine increase. Are you still tithing? If not, do not expect to receive God's promise in verse 10 that states, So shall thy barns be filled with plenty, and thy presses shall burst out with new wine. God has called us to be obedient, yet we disobey. He asked us to remember His miracles, His provision, His protection, yet we ignore Him. He asks us to consider the orphans, widows, and less fortunate, yet we pass them by. God asks us to pray without ceasing, yet we pray conveniently. He asks us to be our brother's keeper and love one another, but what do we do? He asks us to bless His beloved nation, Israel, with the promise that those who bless Israel will be blessed. Do you pray for Israel? God has appointed leaders in our nation, in our homes, and in the church. Do we obey our leaders, pastors, teachers, elders? In our homes, are we creating an environment of love, peace, joy, hope, salvation, unity, honesty, integrity, and respect that will be passed on from generation to generation? God did everything within His power to save us from our sinful nature by sacrificing His only begotten Son to die on the cross for our sins. Do we honor that sacrifice? God asks us to fellowship with one another, to come live together in one mind and one spirit, but we choose not to. I encourage you to obey God, your leaders, and those in authority. I encourage you to bring up your children in the way of the Lord. I encourage you with the words in Hebrews 10.25, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another, and so much the more, as ye see the day approaching. I encourage you to meditate on God's word to show yourself approved. God has given us a free will to choose, to do what is right and pleasing in His eyes. So what are you going to do? I encourage you to make a decision to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, so you will not be left behind. It is the best decision that you could ever make in your life. As you step out into each new day, leave footprints of love, joy, peace, kindness, comfort, and hope. God bless you. Jesus loves you. And remember, God is watching you. Shalom.